Hi everyone, Andrea here, and I'm here today with a special guest. This is Karen Morgan. She has over 50 years of swim instruction experience. She owns five Aquatots, two in Virginia and three in Texas. And prior to that, she ran and operated Morgan Swim School. So she's here today with us. And oh, as a special note, she helped write the awesome Aquatots curriculum, which makes our lessons the best in the industry. Yeah. So she's here with us today to talk about why do kids cry when going into swim lessons and are we truly traumatizing them? So Karen, mm -hmm. thank you. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is children cry over a lot less important things than this. This is still a health and safety skill. If you want your child to swim, you really just train your child to swim regardless of what the emotional response is. The second thing that is important for you to understand is it is just that. It's an emotional response. And really children don't have long-term memories until they're about five years old. And so most don't even remember the process of learning to swim. Why do they cry? There's a number of reasons. I would say one of the first reasons children cry really in all ages, when they come to swimming, they feel out of control. They don't feel like they're in charge. So when you've allowed them to wear those floaties, which we don't like so much, they still have a semblance of being in control. You get them in the water and you're getting them to where they're going to be submerging and they're learning to lay on their back. They don't feel in control and most children will cry over that. Fear, fear's real. We don't ignore the fact that fear is a real thing. It isn't the main reason children cry in the young years. In the older years, which we consider you to be old when you're about four and a half and up, in those years, children will usually let fear come out. They'll often become a little combative even in the midst of that because they really don't want to do it. But again, fear is not reasonable. It's not that they're afraid usually because anything's happened. They're usually afraid because they didn't like the water and mom and dad thinking that the best thing for them was to not make them do it. That fear actually grows as they get older. So parents, the best thing to do is actually get your children started young. I would say the main reason we get tears is actually anger. Children become angry because they want to be in charge. We're all born to be autonomous and make our own choices. And they come into lessons and we're defining what our expectation of what we want them to do is. And we tell them we're going to do everything two times and we're going to try hard. And so what we believe is the best thing for children is actually train them in self-control and how to manage their fear. And so you'll see us having them blow or having them count or having them be calm. Remember parents, most children won't ever remember this. So it's not traumatizing them because they have such a short term memory. It's harder for you than it is for them. I had a child years ago that screamed and screamed and screamed the first three days of his lessons. He was four and a half years old. He had a fourth lesson that was beautiful, went for the weekend, swam with mom and dad, had a lot of fun. And on Monday I said, can you believe last week you used to cry? And he said, I've never cried in swim lessons. <laughs> that is how short term their memory is. And the beauty of this is guys, tears are forgotten once you see your child loving and enjoying the water so much. And that is something that we absolutely guarantee will happen. You just need to trust us with the process. Thank you, Karen. And we know we've seen kids over and over again work through it mm -hmm. and come out on, on the other end and they're enjoying their swim yes. lessons. So just like we take our kids to the doctors or we strap them into the car seats for their protection, giving children the swim lessons will save their lives. And that's what we're so passionate about what we do every day. Thank you all for listening. Don't forget to share my videos so you can be entered into the contest and we'll see you next week.